Hello, my name is Paint Marcel, and I'm going to be doing my 13th vlog discussion on The End of White America by Hua Su. This whole article really explores the idea of the end of white America and the way that this author explores these, these ideas is through books like The Great Gatsby, where they highlight characters that speak on the danger of the end of white America and how the nation is becoming more and more multicultural and fleshing out any form of a pure race. These white male characters um, highlight the privilege of being a white male character and how they fear losing their power and social status in an ever-changing world. The article also highlights the 1923 Supreme Court case, the United States versus Bagot Singh Thind, a case where race was explored and Thind was classified as not Caucasian, even though he had Aryan blood, he was not a typical white like we see the, like in characters like The Great Gatsby and things like that. The article also explores the idea of whites becoming an American minority um, and how we are, um, quote from the article, approaching a profound demographic tipping point. Um, some stats that back that up is the based on like a 20, 2008 consensus, the current minorities are the current minorities were blacks, Hispanics, East Asians and South Asians. And it talks about how they will actually count for the majority by 2042. Some causes of this um, more multicultural nation include things like interracial marriage and um, concepts like for those who immigrated to the United States in the early 1900s um, just have kind of developed into growing people and we are becoming a more progressive nation and so we are just um, approaching a different demographic. In the past, those who have immigrated were concerned with becoming as white as possible or as American as possible by learning English and going to the same churches and schools that other people did. But now you don't have to be white anymore if you want to hold a political office or become a CEO in corporate America. The author also highlights some pretty important questions like will anyone mourn the end of white America or will anyone try and preserve it, um, which is kind of a hard concept for a lot of people to grasp. It's kind of unfair, like I don't think there should be mourning of white America. I feel like we should celebrate the progress that we're making as a culture. The products and heroes of this new multicultural demographic in America include non-whites who live some lavish, rich, and more privileged lifestyles and who prize diversity over all else and whose goal is racial transcendence. America as a whole has also contributed to making minorities mainstream, such as hip-hop as an example of white America making African-American culture mainstream and how everyone's kind of hopped on that train and agreed with it and really pushed it. Um, pop culture today, also from the book, explains how uh, they rally around an ethic of multicultural inclusion that seems to value every identity except whiteness. So everyone's kind of, um, I could see how some like white supremacists really fear the idea that their race is being driven out just because um, pop culture tends to celebrate every other culture except white culture. Those like me and hopefully you um, really are celebrating this idea that it's not about the end of white America, it's about entering into this new world of multicultural um, just multiculturalism and a post-racialism world where we celebrate um, all cultures and how we celebrate how America is a place where there are minorities and majorities and how at some point they're all just going to be, at some point there's going to be no minorities and hopefully no majorities just so we can all really be as inclusive as possible and embrace the American value of coming from different parts of the world and sharing that within our nation. So yeah, that's it.